Dear Thriver, welcome to Thriver TV. The obsession about the narcissist is horrifying and I know how much it shocks you and it robs you of your life force. Today I'm going to explain to you what this really is, this thought loop, and how to get free from the prison of your mind constantly replaying the trauma over and over again. Okay, now before I get started, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and also remember to share this video with somebody who you know it can help. Okay, so I'm just going to jump straight into some really powerful truths that are going to help you today. And the first one is the replaying of the trauma is not coming from your mind. So there it is. That's the bombshell that is going to change your life once you understand this. And I'm going to unpack it all for you. But first of all, just please get this part. You can't stop obsessive thinking with more thinking. In fact, that what I call stinking thinking of going over and over what happened, why it happened, what should have happened, you wished it never happened, ad nauseum with no real relief and no healing, no closure. You know that you're not getting better about what is bugging you or hurting you or ripping you to pieces by continually thinking about it. And you're not reaching a place in your thinking where you can just settle on it and say, okay, I'm done. I've got the information. I've got the closure. Now I can just get on with it. It doesn't work like that with narcissistic abuse. And it is so frustrating and self-defeating. And it makes you throw your hands up in the air and you're screaming at yourself, I'm an intelligent purpose person. Why can't I just get it through my head to stop thinking about this? Why can't I accept that this person is no good for me? And why can't I just stop thinking about it and move on? I know I used to be on the ground, like hitting the ground with my fists, screaming that out. And I hear from you guys all the time that you go through it as well. And please know, I agree with you. You are an incredibly intelligent person. Many of the smartest, most gifted, resourceful people with so much to offer intellectually and with who they are, are narcissistically abused. A lot of really strong, capable people. And I would also put myself in this category. But intelligence in this case is your downfall just as it used to be mine, because you're trying to tackle what's going on with your mind, which is only digging you deeper into the problem and not getting you out of it. Now, to understand that, I need to tell you about the body-mind connection that we were not taught that maybe you don't know about it yet. And the body-brain connection is essential because trauma is not operating at the level of the mind. The mind stuck in obsessional traumatic thoughts is a symptom of the trauma coming from where it is really wedged, where it's really percolating and when it's re where it's really infecting you, which is within your inner being. So let me offer you some hard proof of this. I want you to say these sentences. I think heartbroken. Say them. I think devastated. I think betrayed. These statements sound ridiculous. They're like caveman speak. They don't even connect. Of course, these statements are meant to be, I feel heartbroken. I feel devastated. I feel betrayed. These things are going on under your chin, not above it. And here is the truth that until recently, nobody was talking about and nobody 
has been telling you. Your emotions come first. It's where your life's really going on in your body. Then your brain follows. Your brain and what it's thinking about is a product, a symptom of your inner being, your emotional somatic body. And if your inner identity has been seriously compromised with traumatic emotional content, then it's that that's powerfully running your life. You feel empty, heartbroken, devastated and betrayed. You don't think it, you feel it. And then, then your mind is trying desperately to think your way out of these powerful inner feelings. Yet because the brain has no option as the symptom other than to follow the body, this is why you're stuck in the loops of continually thinking about the terrible problems and events of being discarded, heartbroken, abused and betrayed. And your brain literally has no access to a broader bandwidth to get the solutions of these issues because the brain is, and what's going on in it, is a symptom of the trauma wedged and as yet untreated and unhealed in your inner being. It's like with a broken leg, you can't walk properly. If you heal the broken leg, then you can walk. When we have inner traumatic wedged trauma, you can't think properly until, the tra- until you're free and healed of the internal trauma. So it isn't until you get healing relief and release from the trauma that your brain can even begin to durably think differently. It's a complete and utter impossibility with significant trauma, no matter how intelligent you are. And significant trauma is a byproduct of narcissistic abuse. And this is why before true inner being solutions, such as quantum freedom healing, therapists were consistently frustrated with clients who no matter how many times things were discussed or realized or researched or what outer solutions were given, these abuse victims, just as we all were, were forever defaulting back to the stinking thinking over and over and over again and we're just not getting engaged in recovery in any genuine way. And then often, of course, this is going to lead to people picking up addictions to try to numb out the pain. So it could be food or alcohol or cigarettes or shopping or gambling or taking medication to try to shut up the pain and the stop the stinking thinking. But then, of course, that's never healing the emotional inner being within. So the shift in the brain can happen after the body shifts. When I finally cracked the code for quantum freedom healing and I started helping people heal with it, Knowledge of it exploded globally because I had doctors, domestic violence workers, psychologists, counsellors, and even psychiatrists contacting me. They got my details off their clients and they got in contact with me because they wanted to know what had happened to their client. So the clients in their sessions before the body shift were quantum freedom healing They were stuck in stinking thinking and some of them have been in it for years like a record stuck on repeat. Yet, after a session with Quantum Freedom Healing, they presented as a completely different person. They were thinking differently. And these professionals were saying to me, what did you do to my client? Because all of a sudden, They're open to solutions, they're positive, their whole 
persona has changed. Why had that happened? Because I'd released and reprogrammed the inner trauma as a result of working with me and quantum freedom healing. And often those changes were significant even after only one session. Once they started getting better on the inside, they no longer had the powerless, helpless, looped, traumatic thoughts. I'm going to give you another really powerful understanding that's simple to understand why this is the case. If you no longer felt empty, heartbroken, traumatized and betrayed, what would your thoughts be about if you didn't feel that way? Would you have the space for better thoughts? Would you have the available energy that's no longer sucked out of you trying to survive the shocking feelings and the stinking thinking? Would there be now energy available to start to feel hope, inspiration, solutions and creativity and start thinking about that? Absolutely. Would you be more capable of procuring the right support and having more clarity to make better decisions, such as no longer recklessly breaking no contact, returning to somebody hurting you, looking them up on social media with their new source of supply and being absolutely traumatized again, or being fixated on getting the atonement, the apology, the remorse or the accountability that you think you need to try to get some more relief. And of course, you get the very opposite. Let's put this in another simple way that I know you can get because you're an incredibly intelligent person. You wouldn't have been narcissistically abused if you're not. And this truth is going to get you onto the playing field and in front of the goals of creating your true recovery. Because believe me, as I discovered, when you're still in your head, you're not even in the district, let alone near the field or the goals. Okay, here it is. You are feeling devastated, heartbroken and betrayed. You're feeling it. Now you're trying to do this to try to get better and recover. I think reconciled. I think whole and at peace. I think supported by life and others. Can you see how ridiculous it is? See why it hasn't been working and it can't work? Because it doesn't connect. It's like trying to tune your TV on your CB radio. I hope you can understand that. Understand why it hasn't been working. Okay, so if you can accept this, then you can get on the track of being able to heal for real, which needs to be from the inside out. And now I want to take you through what it is to start healing on the inside. The way to bypass your head so that you can get underneath your chin and do the work where it does work, where you will feel real relief, where you will feel better. And then you can think better and you get better and you do better. And where your whole life without exception will shift away from trying to survive your inner trauma, trauma and operate with it. Two, in your beingness, produce and experience the utter relief which opens you up to the miracles, wonder of power and joy your life is, your true self, your true life when you start living free from internal trauma. This is no less than coming home to your true self and your true life where you're no longer a passenger of life getting beaten up, especially by narcissists and abusers because of not knowing you are handing your power away, 
you take your power back and you become a master of your life. And if you don't go within, you will go without. So let's get in front of the goals. And what I would love to do is take you through this process with me to a deeper inner standing and the experience, literally experience in your body, what it is to have a body shift, to start getting fast, powerful relief and sanity back in your mind. So I want you to check out the link that I'm putting with this video, which gives you the opportunity to try Corner Freedom Healing with me. And after one healing, you can start to feel the difference. Okay, so I hope that this has made sense to you today. And as always, keep smiling, keep healing and keep thriving the right way because there is nothing else to do if you want an amazing life. Lots of love. Bye-bye.